Hello, Bobcats. Brad Trepler here again. I just wanted to talk a little bit about some best practice for creating an assignment in Canvas. So this video is going to assume a couple things. First of all, that you are using your files on Google Drive. And if you're not, you really, really should be. You need to be backing up your files on Google Drive. That's where all the things you create or manage or, or build should all be saved there. I'd recommend going and watching my video on how to set up your Google Drive and link it to your computer because that saves a lot of the back and forth and uploading stuff, but you really want to make sure your stuff's on Google Drive. So in order to create an assignment in Canvas, the best option, generally speaking, if you're giving them a, a document, a PDF, anything that you want them to work on, fill out, complete, is going to be using what's called the Google Docs Cloud Assignment. So in order to use that, what you're going to do is in your assignments, when you're creating it, so you can go to assignments, hit plus assignment. Obviously still give it a name. We're going to call this demo assignment. Whatever your assignment directions might be, we'll go here. Uh, com complete the following document then submit give it however many points you want make sure it's in an assignment group that is aligned up with skyward and here's the important part so here for submission type we're going to go to external tool we're going to click find and it's going to be in the g google docs cloud assignment that's going to pull up my google drive and let me add a file to it my activity is in the distance learning folder and it is monitoring group activity exemplar and I hit submit. What that's done is that attaches that document to this assignment so that as soon as the students load onto this page they're going to see that document and what it will do is automatically make a copy of it into their Google Drive. So and then as usual sync to Skyward so those grades will sync if I hit sync grades and give it a due date. And we'll hit save and publish. So now that assignment is available to my students. It will look for them very similar as it does to me. You'll see that it opens that assignment right here on this page and now I can view it right here and I can edit it if I want. I can also click on this icon right here, as can the students. They can click on the title, and that will open it up in a new tab. But what it's done is automatically make a copy of that assignment for them. It makes a copy of that Google Doc. So they'll be able to edit, but it's on their copy, not on the one in your Google Drive. Then, when they come back, are done working, they can come back to this page. They'll see all their work down here, and they will have a submit button to be able to turn that assignment in. That is the easiest way to have an assignment shared out to students and allow them to work on it, making sure it's in your Google Drive to begin with, and then using the Google Docs Cloud Assignment. And then you'll be able to go into SpeedGrader and see all their submissions once they submit. I hope this helps you guys out and helps you understand how to use the Google Docs Cloud Assignment option. Uh, one other pro tip, if you're doing this and have not been doing it before, remind your students not to make a copy. The most common error that people run into is the students make a copy of the assignment, even though they already have the copy made for them. Then when they come back to submit, they end up submitting a blank document because they've worked on a copy, not the one that Canvas is now looking for in their box. So as always, I hope that helps out. Make sure you subscribe to see all of my additional videos as they come out. And if you have any additional questions, you can always reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'm always glad to help out additionally if you have any more questions. And I hope everybody has a great day.